Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will talk a bit about the amplifier for the US gas mask that is right here in my hand. It's uh, basically this part here, we see it on the box, what it says. It's uh, quite likely made in USA, there is no, no uh, manufacturer listed, there is no packaging in the box or a, a manual that, that came with it. So I guess that is basically how that did uh, come. As that uh, would uh, be delivered to the to the US military in uh, this kind of box. It's as you take it out, you see the front part of the amplifier. And on the side we see here is the button to push it on and off. On the rear side we see this part here with the, that, that turns around and in the middle of course uh, the sound as you speak goes, goes in. As we see here there are threads so basically basically you can uh, screw on the amplifier and adjust on which direction it will be because as, as the, the thread is uh, completely on the, the mask then uh, if that would not be like this that could be anywhere and you wanna wanna point that in a in a certain direction so it fits that's that's why they they did that is the the quality looks pretty good it has of course the the numbers from uh, the the US military is uh, in a brand new condition this this one here and on the bottom we actually see the manufacturer there, Audio Pack Sound Systems in Cleveland, Ohio. I do not know that that company. I did not uh, research it and uh, the US patent number. And what is more important is on the side those two screws. You can loose them up and then you can take off the lid. And inside we already see the, the battery. I'm gonna take that quick out. Basically you have a, you need a, a standard battery, 9 volt, with a bit of a good uh, quality that you just click on the part that is connected with the amplifier. Then you push it back in and this part here has a bit of uh, rubber uh, padding so it's actually as you close it up again with the screws gonna gonna seal the the unit so for what you need an amplifier in the Swiss military with mainly pretty bad equipment that was uh, always one of the of the major problems uh, let me go back a bit in the in the history as i joined uh, the, the swiss military we still had the old style gas mask and uh, that was a heck of a pain the rubber and the all overall quality was not that well the the small small uh, round round uh, glass pieces on the on the on the window you hardly could see anything and uh, of course you had no amplifier either so that was really really a uh, worst you could not speak clearly while wearing a mask so as we did a uh, train with with the uh, shooting and and uh, all that then uh, you had a heck of a of a deal with uh, with communication of course you can do that with uh, hand signals but uh, still if you can speak that that uh, is a uh, way easier and, and uh, better for most situation and basically with this device that allows you to speak freely to speak pretty much as you would speak without the mask you can as you put that on as you click the, the button you can speak like like uh, normal so that makes it really easy and you can use the mask with or without it so that means if you if you say you wanna wanna use only the hand signals you can screw that off and on i'm gonna show that in a minute 
and uh, there, there you have just the options and you don't lose anything. In Switzerland with, with that bad equipment that we had, we had no options so we, we uh, just had to, to use what we, what we had and that was not too, too good. Even the, the later 90 style uh, mask that we, that we got uh, did not have an amplifier so, so in my regards it's completely outdated now. And uh, yeah, so basically, if you have this on the on the mask, you push the button, and then the amplifier is on. We already hear the the coupling back uh, sound, so it's it's like an electrical microphone. I'm gonna quick uh, go a bit away from the camera, and then now it's still off, and now I push the button to to put it on. And then I speak through the to the amplifier and then you hear the, the difference of the sound already. And uh, basically it's it's like I speak uh, without it, but uh, the, the electrical device uh, just makes it more more of a sound outside of the mask, with or without the mask of course. Now I put it uh, back down. And basically it's all that, that uh, push button that you have that you just click and that's, that's it. So how does that go on the mask? Uh, if we look here on that MCU mask from the US military, that's an older version. That is already on the mask. So we thread it on and we adjust it that the thing is hanging uh, down and here is the button that we can press so so uh, the sound goes on so that's how how it uh, looks on on uh, this mcu mask the this older style mask has a big window that's that's why i like it because it has that uh, big big uh, window and on the M40 I'm gonna take that quick out of the of the back on the M40 mask the the US military mask you see basically you can uh, choose the filter on the on the left side or on the right side these parts are interchangeable uh, that is needed because uh, how the setup is on this one, the filter is on the left side because I shoot on the right side, so this needs to be free. But uh, it would be would be reversible. The the part below is for drinking, and the part in front is the same like by the MCU mask. It has basic uh, a standard threading, and there the part that we did look on of the mask goes basically in there. I'm gonna quick start it a bit and then you see how that goes. Now one thing if you if you are in a hurry or if you have the, the mask already on, on uh, that, that's uh, a bit tough to put in. We see here the, the gap in between, so now the threading is started. So basically how I do it, as I say, I was in the Swiss military. I had no chance to, to go to the US military. I just thread it on like this, keeping that part downward so we have the button on top. So basically you, you do that until it's pretty, pretty uh, solid. I need to do that a bit without reaching around the camera that we push it on, that it is solid, that it is tight. As you put the, the mask over the face, you uh, close close the, the, the port of the, of the filter and then you feel it anyhow if it's tight or not. And basically it's like this, the, the part hanging down and you have here the, the button to push and theoretically you can change the battery like this as well as you're wearing the mask uh, that's gonna be a bit uh, a problem because it's a uh, it's a uh, 
tough to reach reach around so it's better if you have a second person that help you with that so uh, but but I expect that uh, the the runtime of one uh, battery is pretty pretty long and uh, and uh, it's maybe better if you leave the mask on and then you unscrew the, the amplifier so you have a better look on the battery compartment to actually change change the uh, the battery as as a uh, as uh, then then it makes it easier if you need to leave the mask on that that's all uh, theoretical so uh, that much about uh, the amplifier from the US military I like it a lot it's a, a great equipment if you uh, look a bit uh, online you find that pretty cheap actually uh, one that I did buy, I did uh, pay 99 cents and uh, shipping because most of the people quite likely do not know what that is or what or have any any interest in a in a gas mask. That uh, bring me to the to the last point. If you uh, have a different opinion about uh, the gas mask, if that is needed or not, that is. Uh, Everybody's uh, freedom in USA. So for me personally, gas mask is needed. We had that in Switzerland. We have that in USA, and for sure uh, a heck of a deal, a better one than in Switzerland. So, so uh, that's just personal. It's uh, legal in most states, I guess. It's uh, I never saw any any problems with with uh, equipment like that. And if you choose a, a gas mask, make sure you go to somebody that know what they do, that they uh, help you with the correct size, especially as you have no, no training with the military and you have no idea how a gas mask uh, work, that they fit you with uh, the correct uh, size, with, uh, with the correct equipment that you get the, the manual for it usually you can download that on the internet if you don't uh, find a, a printed version and uh, beware of of a uh, old gas mask or civilian use gas mask uh, those and that filters uh, are maybe not 100% compatible with the US military versions so so the good thing with this M40 and the MCU version is uh, that the same filters will fit on all such gas masks so that means uh, more flexibility the, the thread is uh, 40 millimeters and uh, as a sample the, the Canadian gas mask that are sold a bit as surplus has a 30 millimeter then you need an adapter that is around from a 30 to 40 millimeter that is a 10 millimeter uh, difference and uh, it's good and right but uh, it's it's not perfect and uh, yeah i did never check if the amplifier uh, fits on the on the canadian mask uh, either so so basically i stick with uh, with the u.s military versions that is uh, the, the best deal around and uh, yeah that much about the, the amplifier for the US gas masks that's that's how they look like how they how they work it's pretty pretty easy hope you enjoy the, the video